Hey everybody, welcome back to Cavern Kings. We're going to do a little Rex run today, because I haven't done a Rex run in a while. So we start with the Kinetic Fist. Hopefully we get a decent weapon, and of course we get our $250 in the form of gemstones that we collect here very good softly. Uh, uh -huh. So we get the... Well, this, this has been historically not too bad. The last time we had this guy, I think it actually went... I really suck at my double jumps. I've noticed this recently. Like, if I don't commit to the double jump, if I don't commit to it, then I have a really bad time. So, the, the disc gun, um, I think the last great run we actually had was with the disc gun, or the saw gun, whatever you want, or the fucking double jump me. Right, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. There we go. Nice. I really just, oh, hello! That's awesome to get in the first crate. Um, so that stuns enemies every time we level up, which is really cool. Um, it gives us a, a, a huge advantage early on. Wonderful. Uh, is it worth farming? I'll farm a little bit more. Just a tiny wee bit. Well, I didn't even need to do the work there. We'll just leave now that we've got our... Got what we came for. Got what we wanted. Grab the stuff. So I've just been watching a whole day of... Well, not a whole day. I had to go to work as well. But I've been watching a, quite a bit of a day worth of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's been the old dream hack, you know. World, world championship thing, tournament stuff going on. Awesome, 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 awesome play. We get an What's going on? Why am I getting loads of stuff? We get, we get a triple jump? Am I just getting all the stuff that I want now? Is that how this is going to work? Is that, Are you just being nice to me, game? Because it's been a while. It's been days since I played you. So yeah, watch, watching the final there, LDLC and um, NIP was awesome. It was great. So much good play. LDLC win. The Frenchmen take the victory. Do you know what? In terms of esports, I don't usually like to watch esports. I'm not a big fan of like watching Dota or anything like that. But I'll tell you, oh my god, we're gonna die! I'm gonna leave before we die. Oh no! Oh, oh, hey, watch your cell. Okay, don't fuck this up, Tom. There's a very real possibility that this will be good for you. Grab the health, right? Now we're back in the driving seat. We'll grab this. It's a boxing glove. That might be good. But yeah, when it comes to esports, I'm not a big fan of like, watching Dota. I'm not a big fan of watching other stuff like StarCraft 2. But see, Counter Strike. It's so much fun to watch. The tension. The, the tension is real. There was a lot of tension in today's games. I was thinking how good it would be to actually be like a professional gamer. <laughs> well, you, you know what I mean. Like, I know YouTube people are technically professional gamers. I'm not a professional gamer at all in any in any capacity. I know some people are because they do this full time. But um, imagine being like a professional esports like gamer. Like you, you're actually a professionally skilled video game player, not just someone that makes videos and is quite funny. Like, that would be awesome to have that skill. You're, like, basically, like, a, a gaming athlete. I would take that. I think that would be pretty cool. I'd enjoy myself. I think I'm past my prime, though. I mean, obviously, there's a guy that plays for Virtus Pro called Taz, who I think is a bit older than me. But, you know, he's been playing, you know, Counter-Strike for 20-odd years, probably. It's not something I can just waltz into at the age of my age. The age of my age! I'm not gonna tell you how old I am. Some people know already, but I'll keep it silent. I'll keep it keep it hidden. I can't just waltz in at my age and be like, yeah, I want to become a pro. <laughs> it doesn't quite work that way. I'll just continue on playing my, you know, silver... <laughs> Silver-rated Counter-Strike Global Offensive games. That's fine for me. I know, I, th that'll do. In fact, I'll just play casual because that's what the most fun is had anyway. Of course. Obviously. I'll stop talking about Counter-Strike now, we should talk about Cavern King since that's what's actually going on. So, we've got chests. I'm gonna start making a bit of room here for that to go down there. Now, hopefully my double jumps will be rectified since I'll be able to... Well, and I now have the triple jump in, in hand. Which is good. Um, we can go in here and grab this. This is gonna suck. I, I may have fucked myself here. No, no, we're fine. We're very fine indeed. What do we have? Just some health and some monies, that's fine by me. We'll go and get this chest. Hopefully it'll be something, you know, spectacularly good. Like a cluster of iron! I'll take it. Oh, big old saws. Big old disky saws. There we go. We may be on for a good run. I don't want to say things too too early, but, you know, good things may be happening. We need to wait till we get to golem stage. Usually things start to spice up when you get to golem area. Golems tend to drop more items. And also, they drop more money as well, of course, that's a very important aspect. More money equals more chests, equals more items, equals more fun, equals more kinetic fist to your face, and you died. Very good. There's this, uh, cluster of eyeballs. Cluster of eyeballs? I don't even know what they're called. They look like the, the human popcorns from The Binding of Isaac. Hmm. Not a big fan of these type situations, I need to be careful here. There we go. So we're on golem stage, that's fine by me. 
We need to be careful because they do pack a punch, but they also have items and lots of monies, so... Risk versus reward. A classic thing that everyone has to go through sometime in their life, you know. Do I put my hand in the cookie jar to get a cookie? Or has my father booby trapped it with something that may cut my hand off? Who knows? The risk versus reward. You need to always make... You always take the risk though, don't you, for a cookie? For a cookie? <laughs> um, this is a bad idea that I've made. Terrible idea. I should just wait for it to break. I'm just kind of scared by the spikes. Spikes are scary. I have a tendency to make me terrified. Especially when they're on your cookie jar, you know. I like my hands, I always have. They've been useful to me so far. When their use is outlived, then obviously I'll look to get something other than hands. Maybe a hook or two. A hook. <laughs> a hook or two. Let's just leave. Oh, dart level can go suck a big bag of dicks. Um, but we'll get through this. We'll, we'll, we'll pull together. You know, we'll, we'll just imagine it's not dark and then hopefully not die horribly. Now, the good thing here is I can cheese. Hopefully cheese you and then... Oh, fuck this. Well. No, oh, no. No, no. What was that? Did I get something? Did I get an... It's a big old bomb, is what that is. I'd love that chest if you could oblige me here. Um, oh, fiery feet. Okay, we'll take a fiery feety phoenix pinion. Don't even know what a pinion is. I imagine it's a feather of some variety. But the feathery fiery feet thing is really good. It means we can do a bit of, like, you know, area of effect damage while we're not physically fighting enemies. We can just run away. Run away is my favourite thing to do. Sometimes. Right, we'll continue on. We'll get a free crate and some golems and some stuff. We'll probably get this chest quite easily. I don't know why I'm individually clicking again. I keep doing this thing where I individually click. I should remember. Uh, no, I'm not picking you up. So this thing's still bugged. Apparently, it's meant to increase your like crit chance or something. I can't remember. I didn't want to look too much into what it does yet because it doesn't work. So we'll avoid it. What it does at the moment is it continually damages you regardless of what's going on, so, you know. Seems bad. There's a crate up there that I just realised in the top right we should be looking to get a part of. In fact, we don't even need to. I'll get it in a second. What missiles? Missiles away. Oh, hello. I'm just w walking into the damage because that's how I do. If we can get some more, you know, stuff on the random, that'd be nice. So more champion enemy. I don't really know what controls the enemies dropping items. I don't know whether it's like a certain type of enemy, whether it has to be a champion. Let's just leave. A nice little white chest for free, I'll take it. I'll also get rid of you. And you. Selection of white chests for free, I'll take it all, really. Bag it up and gaze it for Christmas, that's exactly what I need. So it's gonna be Christmas soon. Fuck me, it's been quick. It's the years, the year, see when you get older. I'll tell you this for free, oh fuck me. Please. Um, yes, time... Time doesn't play by the rules. Time's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna march on quicker than you could possibly ever imagine because I, because fuck you is why. See, time is a constant... So they say, you know, given certain circumstances, like, you know, like the planet you're on and things and stuff and the speed you're travelling and all this kind of pish. But really what they don't factor into that is your age. Time fucking goes in its own speed. Ah, a bit of speed. Speak, you're speaking of speed. I'll take a, a, a leaf out of out of the book of speed. <laughs> book of speed. That famous book of speed. Bestseller. Um, I think we should leave probably. Oh, it's the eyeball. I hate the eyeball. If there's one thing I hate, it's the eyeball. But we should be able to just wreck it here. Our discs will absolutely do multiple hits of damage. What are you? Uh, wh what? Chests contain double the contents? Well, I never. That seems fucking great. Why have I never had this before? Oh, balls. Well, we've got two white crates. That's fucking great. Wow, it's a, it's a great day to be alive in the land of Cavern Kings. Now, I assume that just means chests and not crates at all, but, you know, still good. Uh, where's our door? Our door is over here. Chests contain double the goods. Double the goods, double the fuck yous. Uh, that was only one. I seen one there. How many have I got? Yeah, it was only one! You shitting me? Don't tell me it only works for one level, because that would suck. I'm not sure if it's meant to do that. I think it might be bugged. Would be my official response to the matter. Or maybe 
maybe it's a chance thing, you know. But that'd be really awesome to get that to like proc every time. So if you're like say opening a chest, it's missiles, double missiles. You know what the only thing better than missiles is double missiles. Official response from that's that's the official handbook of the American army. That's what it says. <laughs> That's exactly what it says in the American Army's handbook of fucking up countries. Oh, it's a big old gem there. Uh -huh. I need to get out of here before I die. Excuse me. Okay, now we're back in the land of light. I can see what's going on. I'm happy. Right, give me, give me doubles. Oh! Okay, if we're getting two of something, it's certainly not going to be that. I'll tell you that for free. Whoop! There we go. Punch you right in the face because fuck you is why. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Where am I? I actually lost my positioning for a moment. Uh -huh. Any other stuff that I can do in this level? I guess we just farm, since it's relatively easy at the moment. Farming not only gives us money, but of course it increases our level, and our level is going to increase things like our, our total HP. Total HP, very important for a character that's got very low HP. So Rex starts with like 50. Um. Other characters can start with 100 and go upwards from that, so it's, it's nice to kind of get yourself to like at least base Jack stats. Is that his name Jack? The, the really average fucking meat man, ham man. Ham man! He'll forever be ham man to me, you can never change my mind, so what do we get here? One of these, just one. Seems to alternate per level. I just want to get this thing destroyed. Uh huh, okay, yep, eyeball thing, boom. Okay, now I can start getting down to work with these fucking things. Oh, hello. One of these for you, sir. Oh, hello. Uh, yep. What the... Oh, fucking... The hassle they give me. I'll tell you that. Oh, fuck off. I just want to get in here and grab some stuff. Is that so much to ask? You dirty eyeball bastards. There we go. One for you, sir. No, oh, hello. Didn't quite want to leave yet, but the game was like, no, I insist. You must leave. Now it's starting to get kind of like, uh, you know, like arena mode, a bit bullshitty. We've got plenty of money though. Well, now oh, fuck off. Is that double missiles or single missiles? Look like a single to me. Single's fine. I'll take a single missiles. Yeah, it was a single. Well, you can't win them all. We get double worms though. They can go fuck themselves. The good thing is that with our discs, if we just get right in about it, we, we don't even take damage. We actually gain health, for some reason. <laughs> I think it's maybe the fire that does it. Is it the fire that does it? Maybe maybe it's actually the feathery Phoenix Mc... McPinion! The Phoenix McPinion! It sounds like a fucking character from a Charles Dickens novel. Um, I think it may be the f fire. It is, it's totally the fire that does it. That's that's a reason that we should probably prioritise picking that up with the Rex in the future. Not that we can, like, fucking say, like, oh, this is what I want today. I want just the Phoenix foot. The Phoenix McPinion. Oh, hello. Don't do that. No, no. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? I should be doing it down here. It's fine, though. We'll get the health back by just walking. Apparently. So it seems to be the worms that give it the best effect. I don't know whether it's because they've got multiple body parts. Is, is it something like that? Did they count as multiple enemies? Perhaps. Perhaps that is the case. I, I can't really say for sure, for certain. Mystery box or black hole box. I call it mystery box. It looks like a mystery box. It's a black hole box. It makes things magnetise better, I think. Is what it does. It's what it says in the tin. What it says in the tin sometimes is not really... You know, the right thing though. So you have to be careful. Don't always believe everything you read. People might tell you everything you read in a book is going to be true. Ah, no, no, no. Not at all. What if you're reading like a fake encyclopedia? Then it's not going to be a true at all. What if you're reading encyclopedia? That shit's never true. In fact, it's, it's pretty much exactly meant to be not true. So, you know, you can't believe everything you read. Books are not always the answer. Not that that encyclopedia is a, a book or anything. It's just a fucking website. But still, the point remains. I've read things that are not true on the internet, and, and you should be aware of these things because, you know, it's not always publicised that the internet lies. People go into the internet thinking, oh, it's just this harmless thing where people say all of the correct things all the time and everyone's always right and, and no one's ever wrong, but, you know, 
Some things people are wrong. Sometimes people are wrong and they won't even admit it. Yeah, that can fuck off. What the fuck was that noise? I think I'll just leave. Hello, golden thing. Golden thing that I have no idea what it does. I'll open you up. What do you have? Uh, I'm not getting any doubles anymore. Where's my doublers? Right, Chess, this is your chance to shine. Possibly. Double missiles. Yes, it happened. I knew it would happen. I fucking held out for it and it happened. Double missiles should be the greatest thing of all time. I should also be grabbing that key. <laughs> I stuck the key in his head. I was like, here's a key, draw a key. I'll throw a key right in your face. And then he took a key to the face and that was the end of the story. It was a good story, wasn't it? It was my favourite. Best selling children's book. I'm just going to leave that area because it makes me nervous. So, uh, missiles, if you could start proccing on the regular. I guess you should start holding down the old fire button again instead of individually tapping like I have been. We're throwing knives about like a crazy person as well. Dear lord. We're inflicting lots of damage. Could we do with more double cluster of irons or something? Well, watch that bomb. As a habit, I, you know, exploding. Bombs do that from time to time. We're almost up at, you know, reasonable amounts of health. Uh, come around here and do one of these to you all. There we go, boom. It's worth our time leaving this area. I think we've seen we've seen it all. We've seen everything. We're like Patrick Stewart in that thing with Ricky Gervais, where he sees everything of the naked women that he's making a movie about. Mm -hmm. Double double of this. What is that? Increases armor and reflects damage. Oh, you seem good. I'll take you for free. Right, eyeballs. Oh, hello. Let's be careful now. I think we just want to leave this area. Yeah. I'd say it was probably best to leave that area because I wasn't too sure about what was going on. Cluster of iron seems great. I've unlocked the what? The hero's blade? What the fuck is that? Well, I'm assuming it's a sword. It looked like the fucking sword from Terraria. Boom. And what does this do? Uh, bullets explode an impact. That seems fucking great as well. Um, okay, so this is a good run we've got going on. We're almost at 100 total health. Which is almost where I'd want to be. And we're also back to full health as well. That's nice. We've got hunters of money. Hunters is what we have. As they say in Scotland, we've got big old discs as well. Let me have a drink, reposition my seat, and fucking we'll get into business. I need a drink first though. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's boss number two dealt with. So we're now, like, approaching difficult territory that I'm not 100% used to. Can I break this? I can. Well, saved by that one block! Saved by that one block. Did you see that? How I was saved by that one block? That's awesome. Um, I want to get to that chest, though. It might have the goods. Um, damn. Oh, fucking stuck the key in his head. What do we have? Ah, oh, heart of a lyle. Would be rude not to. Oh, fuck off. Let me just key the keyhole, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, that's some bullshit, man. Ah. Well, I got some kind of hero blade unlocked. I'll need to look at what that does. We'll do a little arena before we finish. We'll do a random arena. Fuck it, why not? Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck are you? When did I unlock you? Hmm, interesting. So this might be good. We've got rate of fire. We've got some sort of electrical current thing going on. Um, do we do it? Oh yeah, we do, we do electrical damage. Okay, that was worth finding out. We also start with quite a, a high amount of health. Now, someone said you should collect money in Arena because it does something eventually. The fuck, whatever it does, I don't know. But if, did we just unlock the robot for doing something? Because if we did, that's fucking great. Been looking for a new character to play as Heart of Belial, I'll take you. So I believe Heart of Belial is better regen over time. Is that how it works?
Yeah, I think it is. I can see the regen, regening more regenerously. Regenerously! Indeed. A little bit of leafy action. Bit of speed. Never hurt anyone. Said my drug dealer every time. Um, but you know. He's a drug dealer, so I listen to him. He seems to know what he's doing. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. I don't have a drug dealer. I don't- I also don't take speed. But if you do, that's your prerogative. I ain't gonna fucking give you the stink eye. You can take whatever you want, as long as you're not bringing anyone else down with you. Just practice- if you- if you do use drugs, practice safe drug use. Don't- don't be an idiot. That's all I have to say. Well... I think... Hmm. Another leaf is fine. Aye, I'll take another leaf. Speed's going to be particularly important here to make sure we're, we're dodging through enemies, getting away from enemies, making sure we're picking up all the stuff. Not that thing though, that thing can go fuck itself as I've said numerous times before. The game still insists on giving me it, but I quite like this little robot fella with the strange emo haircut. I say emo with a, a heavy heart. See, see for me, emo is not what you think emo is. See, emo is actually something completely different. Now, to you, if you don't know about punk or the, the origins of the term emo or screamo, you may think of emo as being something like My Chemical Romance. Are they still a band that people know of? Are they still a thing? Um, you may think of them... No, no, no. No, no, no. That is not what emo is. They are not. They're, they're like an alternative rock band. They're just shit, basically. They're, they're a bunch of bad haircut-wearing scumbags that nobody wants to listen to. Now, emo, you want to listen to Embrace. Embrace from fucking DC, listen to Discord, listen to like, uh, Discord records that is, listen to like, a any kind of post-hardcore, that's what, that's what emo is, the real stuff, rights of, rights of spring, listen to rights of spring, rights of spring are the shit, rights of spring are awesome, basically anything that kind of around that time, like kind of mid-80s, DC, Discord, kind of pals with minor threat type situations, you know, that's the good stuff, that's what emo is, emotive hardcore, not, not these, People singing about, you know, whatever they sing about. What is it they sing about? My Chemical Romance, what do they do? They just sing pish songs, don't they? <laughs> pish songs. <laughs> ah, missiles will do. I think sometimes when I distract myself with a conversation about music, it, it makes me happy. Because it also makes me better at the game for some reason. It's because I'm not, like, thinking intently on what's going on. I'm just, like, zenning out. I'm gonna, I'm, do you know what I'm gonna do? After this video's done, I'm gonna... Put it on to render, I'm gonna put on some Embrace to listen to. I'm gonna put on some Rites of Spring. Rites of Spring, end on end. Give it a swatch, you won't be sorry. If you like punk, that is. If you don't like punk, then fucking don't listen to it, you'll hate it. Probably. I mean, I can't say with any authority, boom. Um, I need more. What is this fucking guy not dying for? Mm -hmm. Took a gamble there. The kinetic fist didn't pay off. Sometimes that happens. I need to, to be. Oh my god! Fuck off, please. I asked nicely. Oi, up, been a hoa. Okay, I'm still alive, but I should be dead. Should be dead. Should be dead a, a long time ago. Oh my fucking god. My ability to shock enemies has, uh, you know, done well for me all this time. Wow. Oh, finding the space! Finding the space! Finding the space and then fucking dying immediately. Oh, fuck off the thing that I can't pick up. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, you dick bags. Well, oh, fuck, fuck it all. I'm going <laughs> to quit there.